What is going on everybody and welcome back to some more Final Fantasy 16 here. So we're going to be continuing on where we left off. We built the boat but then Mid just decided to take off because she really doesn't want to see Sid's grave. We're going to go visit Sid's grave now uh, at the old, it looks like his grave is uh, at the old hidey, uh, the hideout. Obviously I'm right here so we're going to make our way over there now. We have a new ship though. Ship has been built basically. It wasn't the most scenic view back then, but it was never as bad as this. I know. The blight marches on. And soon, there will be no escaping sights like these. So our mission remains unchanged. We cannot stop until every Mother Crystal is gone, and their thirst for ether with them. The only one that remains in Storm is Drake's tail in the Crystalline Dominion. Our next target. We're going to Twinside. It's the capital of the Empire these days. I wouldn't like to think how tightly guarded they've got the place. Not that that'll stop you. But we do well to scout it out before you go charging in. We would indeed. If you're off to the Dominion, you can take this great lump with you. <laughs> Boots. Oh, I am sorry. Have you forgotten you're the most wanted man in the Twins? I thought you might like tendons of a travelling trader. Assuming you've no better ideas. You wanted to buy yourself some tools, didn't you? Well, now's your chance. <laughs> you letting me go with them? Oh, thanks, <laughs> man. Stop that, you break me bones, you great galoot. <laughs> There's a caravan that runs back and forth between the Dominion and the Boplad markets. It's managed by the Merchants Guild. Just show them Goots' traders pass, and you'll be on your way. 
It will be a damn sight less risky than footing it the length of the Crystal Road. That's for sure. Thank you, Karen. And glad to have you with us, Goot. Oh, oh, okay then. That'll get me things, and I'll meet yous there. See yous down in Bucklad. Get off! Me poor fingers! <laughs> Jill, you're with me. Understood. And Gav? Already on my way, Captain. Be careful. Aren't I always? You see that, Sid? Your protégé's making a proper little outlaw of himself. That's where we're heading down here to a new area. Obviously, this is the uh, other crystal. Obviously, there is um, a gap of water here. This is a different land, but that's probably going to be where the l that's the last crystal we'll destroy. And this is the crystal we're going for. Trade route for merchants crossing the scars. Till the Republic laid a new road wide enough to let wagons pass, and all official traffic moved there. Leaving this one for those living outside the law. Indeed. I doubt we'll be the only outlaws on the trail today. Serious fucking blinking again. Hit three times in about two seconds. Um,
I don't, I don't that. Thirty-one. We've done the Republic a service. I see the Dalnex lag behind with area when it comes to bridge building. The fallen ruin should hold at least. Continues on the other side. For fuck's sake. Blue screened apologies. So when I, when I have it plugged into PlayStation for blue screens, my footage corrupts. But not when I have it plugged into my Xbox, however, I think the blinking is less. It's on PlayStation, so I might actually put my HDMI or the USB that powers it into the PlayStation screen. With the blue screens, I'll just have to stop recording. than I imagined. I remember being captivated by the story as a child. Long, long ago, man was overcome by avarice and challenged the gods in a bid to win their power. The final battle took place here, at these falls. Or so the legend goes. If anyone ever manages to plumb those depths, Perhaps we'll learn if there's any truth to the tale. That the gods emerged victorious. And punished man for his defiance. By visiting upon him. Two curses. Dominance in Paris. To tell the truth. I always thought it strange that the dominant and their icons were deemed a curse. Back home, the dominant inherited the throne. They were admired and exalted, not spurned. Whenever I got to that part of the story, I always assumed there must be something I'd misunderstood. You had a lot of storybooks, didn't you? In your room, I mean. When we were young. The old legends were always my favorites. Epic battles between gods and men. Mother encouraged me to read as much as I could. He thought it good for my education. You really were a boy like any other, weren't you? Just look at this place. It's enough to make you believe the legends are true. I know. We're not 
not far from Bokalad. The road will be busier up ahead. Then we'll have to keep our wits about us. Something wrong? Nothing. It's nothing. See the reports are true, Father. You have surrendered the throne to Olivier. I have. Emperor Olivier shall rebuild the Holy Empire of Sambre. How is he to rule an empire? He is but a boy. I shall advise him until he comes of age. Father, please. Or for as long as I am able. The empire we seek to build needs young blood to rule it. And I can think of none better suited to the task. There is other news, Dion. Hugo Kupka is dead, and Drake's fang destroyed. The pillars of the Republic have fallen. Ere long, the Imperial banner shall fly over every city in storm. And then, Valisthea. All shall bow before their Emperor. For the words of a tyrant. They are the words of a god. The Emperor whom I gladly serve great Grieger made flesh. Return to your camp, Dion. And ready your forces. It is time to show the world the true power of Sambrek. Father, I find you much changed. Is this truly? path you wish to tread? Or are these the ambitions of another? Of Ultima, perhaps? What nonsense is this? I speak my mind, and my mind only. Though I do owe Annabella thanks for reminding me of certain truths. Regarding the nature of nations, of rulers, and of the divine. You will trust the words of this traitress. She betrayed her country. She slew her husband. You have ever been an invaluable servant to Sambrek, Prince Dion. I trust you will continue to serve your emperor in the wars to come. The canker! Silence! Insolent wretch! You will bend the knee. All else is heresy. Sire, forgive me. This audience is over. Come, your radiance. The Rowena Syndicate awaits your pleasure. Oh, not another meeting with silly old men. They're so boring. I'm hungry, Father. Can't we have luncheon instead? Does it 
pain you, but you will not inherit your father's throne. I have suffered worse. <laughs> Count your blessings, Dion. For a base-born child to be chosen by Bahamut is miracle enough. You have risen high on his wings, but you shall rise no higher, lest your impure blood stain the throne. What do you know of my blood? Okay, anyway, I'll end this episode here. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.